The Supreme Court in a landmark decision Tuesday said that the president should be trusted to declare martial law and should have the sole discretion on its scope. The SC ruling said, quote, the Constitution grants him the prerogative whether to put the entire Philippines or any part thereof under martial law. It adds, quote, there is no constitutional edict that martial law should be confined only in the particular place where the armed public uprising actually transpired. Eleven justices voted to uphold President Rodrigo Duterte's declaration of martial law in Mindanao. But Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio says martial law should be limited only to Marawi City. While Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno and Associate Justice Benjamin Cagiowa voted to limit martial law to the provinces of Lanao del Sur, Maguindanao, and Sulu. Associate Justice Marivic Leonin was the lone dissenter in the High Court, siding with the petitioner's bid to nullify Proclamation 216. Leonin, in his dissenting opinion, says, quote, We should have the courage to never again clothe authoritarianism in any disguise with a mantle of constitutionality. Armed Forces Chief Eduardo Año and the Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa earlier indicated that they would recommend the extension of martial law in Mindanao, which is supposed to end July 22. President Rodrigo Duterte slams the Abu Sayyaf for beheading two Vietnamese men, again threatening to eat them. Duterte says, quote, I will eat your liver if you want. I will just add salt and vinegar. I will eat it in front of you. The decapitated remains of two Vietnamese hostages were found in Basile on Wednesday. The two were among the six kidnapped crew members of a Vietnamese cargo vessel attacked by the Abu Sayyaf last November. The Abu Sayyaf is still holding 22 hostages, including 16 foreigners. The terror group is known to behead its hostages unless ransom payments are made. Saudi Arabia and its Gulf allies continue its boycott of Qatar, criticizing its negative response to its neighbor's list of demands to end the diplomatic crisis. Qatar earlier appealed for dialogue to resolve the row while United States President Donald Trump spoke to Egyptian counterpart Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to urge all parties to negotiate constructively. The foreign ministers of Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates on Wednesday met in Cairo to discuss Qatar's response to their demands. The talks in Cairo came a month after the four countries severed ties with Qatar, accusing Doha of supporting extremism. The demands include Doha ending support for the Muslim Brotherhood and closing broadcaster Al Jazeera. Saudi Arabia and its allies have not said what steps they could take next, but there are fears of a wider embargo that would hurt the Qatari economy. In support of National Disaster Resiliency Month, Rappler will hold the first ever Agos Summit on Disaster Preparedness from July 7 to 8 at the Samsung Hall SMRA Tagig. The summit will gather disaster management experts, stakeholders, and volunteers to talk about how we can all be better prepared for climate change and disasters. Tickets are limited, so register today on agos.rappler.com.